Well, hello everybody we have another scooter review uh the navi electric scooter the s65 is what i have here today um i'm really excited to get into this one because it is the first scooter i've reviewed with actual like suspension built into it uh it seems like a pretty nice high-end scooter uh, we've reviewed quite a few here so we'll see how it stacks up let's do it saying Larry why do you punch a hole through the top of your scooter box here and this is actually how it arrived uh, which is unfortunate uh, I don't blame the scooter company of course uh, probably just UPS or something it looks like uh, hopefully it doesn't affect the product but I figured it was worth mentioning in case this becomes like a reoccurring thing with like their fulfillment center or something so anyways, we'll unbox it. I'll show you how to set it up and we'll give it a ride. All right, I just got it set up. Not even going to really elaborate on it. It's literally just four screws you have to put in. So as far as installation, total breeze, like really, really easy. And it doesn't seem like anything was damaged in the box, so nothing to worry about there. Uh, but as far as specs, let's quickly talk about what we got here. Now, this is a 500-watt motor in the back here, so a decent amount of power for a scooter. Uh, that uh, is paired with a 12-amp-hour battery, which is, again, pretty beefy. Like, those are okay specs on, like, a mid-level e-bike, so having that in a scooter is you know just dandy that's really good <laughs> and then uh paired with that or, or, or what the results of that will give you is about a 40 mile, 40 mile range it estimates which is really good for a scooter uh you know there's really nothing to say bad about that um the uh tires here that we're looking at are tubeless so that's a great thing because uh, as I've mentioned before, replacing scooter tires is the devil. <laughs> it is so challenging. So these are tubeless, so there's still air in there. They're not like the honeycomb, uh, but it does come with like an adapter to fill up in the air. And you even actually have a low, maybe that won't show up on camera, but right here when, if you have low um, tire pressure, there's actually a monitoring system built into here. Now you can kind of see it there. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, so really uh, thought about everything here. Uh, I've already taken for a quick spin and I gotta tell you, you do feel the suspension. Uh, definitely the smoothest scooter around. I love the colors. It's gonna be really hard for me to find some negatives about this. That said, there's one big drawback that I gotta mention right away and it is the weight of this thing is huge. This thing is a total tank. Like it is probably, you know, I wish I had the exact number for you, but pushing 40 or 50 pounds easy. If not, I mean, like it is, it is big, but you know, that's the trade-off when you get such a big battery and suspension and just the full array of uh, specs here. So this is going to be great if you're not, you know, carrying it up a flight of stairs every day or doing anything uh, you know, mobile, like bringing it in and out of your vehicle or something like that. However, you know, it, it can fold. Uh, I mean, granted, if, I'll show you that real quick. So there's a little safety trigger here. You lift that up, which allows you to pull this down. And then there's a second layer. Whoa, and that'll fall right down. And then this locks there as like a little hook. Not the most... Um, graceful connection there. Again, I don't think this is really made for it. I can see I already kind of damaged it by just having it sit there. But it allows you to grab it. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting... It's heavy. <laughs> but again, that's like uh, what you get when you get all these features. And if that's not an issue for you, then, you know, you'll probably keep it in an upright position most time and just take it for cruises and you know, you got nothing to worry about. A quick tour of the features here. Now there's only one button. Uh, this, as we saw, was the attachment to fold it. So you just have your throttle and the power button. You long press to turn it off. 
one tap turns the headlight on and then multiple taps changes your mode so it starts in this walking mode which is like 10 miles an hour double tap again this taps out at 15 miles per hour and then this one will go up to 20. Uh, additionally you do have an app that you need to set up it's kind of uh, funny when you set it up it uses like the same app that people would use for like smart lights in their home so like you can have your scooter paired with like your rgb lights that change color so maybe that's a good thing if you can get them all on the same one maybe but i found it pretty weird but once you get, choose the bedroom that you want to put your scooter in which <laughs> i don't know i found it, it was a little funny to do that uh, after you do that you are able to uh, select the actual scooter menu where it breaks down like uh, pretty detailed information uh, down to like the milliamp hours on your battery at the moment estimated range uh, you know tons and tons of features in there which is cool you could lock it virtually so you can only open the scooter via an app so pretty robust set of features via the app I am not the biggest fan of apps for you know scooters or e-bikes because I like to just get on and go which I think this will still let you do but they really lean into the app on a lot of these more high-end scooters. Okay, enough of me talking, let's go for a ride. All right, we're gonna do a flat land test to get this started, uh, just so you can see how fast it gets up to top speed. So bear with me here when I put the camera down, but I'm gonna push off, and then we push power, and we're cooking. cruising at a, a slow mode here to talk about uh, a couple things I'm noticing so this is the most um, robust tank like sturdiest feeling I've ever felt on an electric scooter uh, usually it's always like um, you know every little bump you're kind of like nervous a little bit and with this you just feel like you have a you're way more like surface area for your feet which also gives you a little more control it gives you like a, a sense of safety because of the suspension when you hit a crack going 20 miles an hour that you're not going to flip over your handlebars. Uh, as long as you uh, do what I'm not doing now and has had uh, two hands on the wheel, uh, you're gonna feel really safe on this thing. The build quality is fantastic. So uh, I feel like that's definitely worth mentioning. You know, it's a get what you pay for situation. You are, you're lacking nothing and really, I, I still go back to uh, the only downside is how heavy this thing is because it is big. Um, so anyways, we're almost to the hill here and we're going to give it a hill test to see if it can get me up the, the biggest hill I can find. So let's go try. Alright, so this guy claims it can handle up to a 25% grade. Now this, you know, I say this every video I make, it never looks, well first of all, how gorgeous is it out? <laughs> uh, it doesn't look as steep on camera as it is in person, uh, but I assure you this is a, a, not only steep, it is very long. So we are about to put it through a gauntlet of sorts uh, where we're gonna see how fast we can actually get while going up the hill where we have it on its highest mode here where it's rated to go 20 miles an hour. We're starting, you know, slightly up the hill here and we are going to just see how it performs with that 500 watt motor. So uh, we're gonna kick off and give it a try, ready? And... Well, right away, no issues. <laughs> we are still climbing in speed. 13. And we're going up the hill. Absolutely no problems at all. All right. I'm going to turn around and we're going to go to a bigger hill because that was too easy. All right. Steeper it is. Hopefully this one looks a little bit more steep. 
Um, <laughs> let's go. Alright, we're at 10. I can hear the motor working a little bit harder, but we're still getting a similar speed as we were. It's getting to the basically the steepest part here. Still hovering around 12 miles an hour. We're climbing with no issues. We're still going up the hill here, and man, it can handle this without an issue at all. Whew, okay, <clears throat> made it back. You're probably wondering at this point, well, how much does this beefcake cost? And well, there's a reason I've saved that part till the very end, because there's a bit of a sticker shock. I have to say this thing is listed at uh, $1,000 on most websites, sometimes, uh, eight or nine hundred but mostly a thousand dollars and that's hard to justify when you're looking at you know every other scooter on the market there's a lot of really good ones in like the six to seven hundred dollar range like really good ones um trying to think the niu scooter i reviewed is pretty great but you know you don't have things like suspension you don't have things like a this big of a battery so you're getting something for that value um maybe if this thing's ever on sale that's probably a good time to swoop it up or if maybe you want a scooter to be your main uh vehicle to travel on maybe you want to take a scooter to work an e-bike isn't going to cut it <laughs> yeah, maybe you, this is perfect then because it's robust it can handle city streets um can handle potholes even well not big ones but you, you, you know what i'm saying because of the suspension it could actually hold up to some decent potholes um I don't know it's tough to again justify the thousand dollar price tag but it's not like it's overpriced if that makes sense because it is robust it's got more than enough power it does what it says it does so there's really nothing you know against that price tag i would just like to see it at maybe you know if it was at like 700 or 800 no brainer perfect uh because it'd blow some of the scooter competition out of the out of the market um but again, at that price, it's tough. Um, it's also, I was gonna knock it because it has mechanical brakes. Um, this is a mechanical disc brake system, which I thought I wouldn't like. <laughs> a lot of the scooters I've been riding have something that's closer to like a, you know, a regen brake system or magnetic hub brakes. So this is kind of old school and it's not hydraulic. It's just a straight, like something that you'd see on any Walmart bike or whatever, but it works great. I, I totally can't say anything bad about it. it. It's graceful. It doesn't jerk you when you stop. It eases into things. So I wouldn't change it one bit. It really does the job. So uh, I can't even knock it for that. You know, um, I would say some of the electronic braking, the braking scooters I've tried feel too instant <laughs> where this is a much natural much more natural feeling when you stop um so yeah I, can't, I really can't think of a bad thing about this thing other than the weight and the price tag so i don't know make your decision from that and uh if maybe if it's on sale locally or something uh and you could swoop it in at a decent price jump on it because it's really fun it's got a lot of power and yeah i don't know it's cool <laughs> it just looks cool um so yeah hopefully that helped let me know if you guys uh like it don't like it if you maybe know of anything within it like this price range that you'd compare it to uh i'll check that out too so uh let me know and thank you guys so much for watching hey one last thing is uh if you're not aware i also have this is my pickleball company kiwi labs pickleball if you're into pickleball come check us out we have a youtube channel as well uh where we just talk about pickleball stuff so if that sounds interesting at all give us a google uh check out our paddles and um come say hey so that's it now i'll say goodbye later